Hey, I'm Rob Menzies, welcome back to my channel and in this video this is the fourth in the series of our middleweight naked bike reviews and today as you can see we are here at Branston's garage in Yeovil and we're going to be testing the M Yamaha MT-09 SP so come with me and check out this great bike okay so we are stopped just around the corner from the dealership just going to do my usual first impressions on this bike um, and i've got to say uh, no immediate real negatives i guess quite a lot of positives that i see out of this one um, first of all i've got to say i like the looks of it as in the color scheme i think the blue wheels the blue flashes look really nice uh, the seat is really really comfortable i like that uh, one thing I do like around, and this is a personal thing, not everyone's the same, but I do like the front end of Yamaha's. I think that kind of transformer style, I think is really, really good. Um, the other bits that jump out at you straight away, you can see um, Olin suspension. So we've got that on the back and I'm guessing by the forks on the front. It's something a bit special there as well. Um, so that's obviously looking really, really nice. I'm immediately seeing some kind of quick shifter. I'm not sure if it's an auto blipper yet. We'll have a play with that one. Um, so that's looking good. I guess negatives so far. Um, the have noticed straight away that the controls seem quite close to each other and quite small buttons to press so i'll have to have a bit more of a play with that and i'll give you some feedback on that and also as i look at the dash um, this is probably one of the more basic dash uh, we've seen so far so um everything else has been a bit more color and, and tft i guess perhaps with the exception of the mv that we did to begin with um, but we're now going to go out and we're going to have a bit more of a ride um, see what this is like and then i will come back and tell you more about it um, in just a minute Okay, so back after doing the test ride, um, very interesting bike. I've got to say it's got some real characteristics to it. So uh, let's kind of do a few positives and negatives on it. Um, I'm going to start off with um, the characteristics of the riding of the bike. So when you actually ride this bike, um, basically it's quite happy to stay at a rev that you're holding it at but the moment you twist that throttle it is very eager to basically shoot you to the moon um, so for me personally and what i'm looking for perhaps not quite what i was after um, very very eager to get going what i would say from a rider mode perspective doesn't really help that much um, so if you go in a which is the main power mode 
um, that's obviously giving you full beams straight away if you go into standard riding mode um, it dulls it down a little bit but gotta say not much um, and if you then go into uh, basically the B mode which is uh, looking at more what I would deem as a rain mode quite frankly it's exactly the same as standard so there's no change there at all um, considering actually riding it the one thing I did really notice was when you lean into corners um, it really squats and it's a bit off-putting so what I was finding and it was by no means giving it any kind of beans this was a test ride um, but as I peeled into a corner um, it almost felt like the rear tire was squidging into the corner and um, yeah it didn't inspire confidence on rear end grip mid corner you really kind of felt that it squidged into the corner and maybe it was going to hold or maybe it wasn't um, so that was a bit weird other thing that i would say i won't show you the number plate on this bike but the whole rear number plate holder uh yeah not so keen on that i think from a looks perspective that one's not so great I think from a dash perspective, what I would say as we look at the dash, and I mentioned this one to you before, I did notice again it's a little bit on the, the busy side, although I would say it is clear, you can read it, you can understand it, you do have gear indicator, you've got rev, you've got basically uh, what you've got in your fuel tanks, you do have fuel, you've got the mode, you've got the traction control, you have time, um, and then you've got your speedo and what you're doing as well. So, um, yeah. I think with this bike, quite interesting. Very comfortable seat, did really like that. It was a very comfortable riding position. I do like this wide tank, so this was really good. Definitely a really nice riding and seating position, so that's great. Um, and I would say from a general ride, it is very doable. Um, you really feel like you can go and have some fun but I would say from a suspension point of view it's perhaps not loving the twisties as much as some of the others that I've ridden um, and although it will do them you do kind of get that it needs to squat in position mid corner which doesn't inspire confidence for that Sunday afternoon blast for want of a better phrase um, but generally I've got to say I enjoyed this bike I thought it was a really nice one so we're going to go back to the dealership now and we're going to have a chat to the dealer about what they can offer us on finance deals and for you guys I will be back in just a minute Hey, so now back in the car, having ridden the MT-09SP, I've also gone in and seen Branston's, the dealership, and I have to say, they're really nice people, very good dealership, um, have been suitably impressed. Basically, we discussed uh, pricing and what we're gonna do with the usual deal. I don't have prices yet because they know that they're gonna change, and also, quite interestingly, they seem to be quite keen to let me know what's coming in coming days and weeks, as I think there's going to be some changes that are going to be coming up in the prices and the deals um, but they do have my email and I'm expecting that to be coming through very shortly um, really interesting bike with the SP so there's very little that I think um, need to change um, you know there's things such as not having braided lines and brakes aren't up to the standard of perhaps some of the others that we've seen that have been going from a Brembo point of view but I've got to say the main bit that's probably put me off the SP is just the way that it dialed into a corner as I think I mentioned to you, you you do kind of find that it has got that kind of squat feel that seems to kind of feel like it slithers into a corner um, doesn't inspire the most amount of confidence but I've got to say positive side the engine's amazing um, really really pulls very well to the point where perhaps a little bit too quick maybe but if you're looking for something that's got some power um, that you want to be able to be able to hold at a rev be perfectly fine around town but then the moment you open that throttle it goes then absolutely uh, MT-09 is something that you'd be really interested in um, what I would say though also is a really really comfortable seat um, and yeah it, it is a good package it looks decent um, so for me this one is definitely a contender in with the mix so what I would say to you is stay tuned um, and there's a few more still to come we also have coming up the the Kawasaki Z900 um, and we also have the Suzuki GSXS.
coming very soon. So stick with me as we have future videos coming up very, very soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please remember to not only like the video, but also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos like this in the future. Thanks again for watching and see you again soon.